press it down onto the floor. If in this part your lower belly is curving, then bring your arms to the same position we had before. Lift upper body, tuck the chin to the chest, arms by your ears. Breathe in. Exhale, extend the right leg forward. Fill up. Exhale, extend the left. Squeeze thighs together. Inhale. Exhale, lower belly presses down. Squeeze thighs together. Breathe in. Exhale, reach forward through the feet. Reach up through the chest bone. Breathe in. Breathe out. Fill up. Empty the air up. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Lower belly presses down. Lower belly presses down. Inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Hug the inner stretch out. Time to rock and roll. Do three rock ups. And then on your fourth rock up, transition into your high plank. Jump back or walk back or tiptoe. Do your first step. Breathing in. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, up dog. Now linger in your up dog. Stretch the core muscles. Top of the feet press down, squeeze thighs together. Pull the ribs forward, hip bones come forward, closer to the wrist. Breathing in, lift chest towards the ceiling. Exhale, squeeze thighs together, squeeze shoulder blades together. Inhale, bleed into the core muscle. Exhale, gently release, transition into your down dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Do what feels good. Shaking the head, bending the knees, or swaying the hips. Or maybe it's not about moving today. So with your ujjayi breath, long deep inhales, long deep exhales. And slowly start to walk forward, come into the front of your mat to your right dog. Keep the mat distance apart, but keep the distance apart. Let go of the upper body, add any arm variation, or maybe just rest the hands on the floor or onto blocks. Neck is completely relaxed. Together. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through the crown of the head, forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Inhale, rise all the way up, slight bend onto the knees, reach up with the arms. On the exhale, hands into your heart center, close the eyes. Breathing in, breathing out. We're opening the practice with three notes. Inhale. Empty the air out. 
Breathe in. Breathe out. Deep inhale. Exhale, step forward, forward, or jump. Powerful lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bow forward. Powerful lift, inhale. Exhale, step or walk or jump back, high plank, low plank, squeezing the elbows into the ribcage, up dog, inhale, squeeze shoulder blades together, down dog, exhale. Breathing in, breathing out. Fill up. Exhale, step, walk or jump forward. How to lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Chair pose, inhale. Exhale, sit low with the back. Good, breathe in. On the exhale, lift the heels off the floor, come into the ball of your feet. Squeeze back together and sit low with the back. Breathing in. Breathing out. Lift the heels a little bit more if it's there for you. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze back together, point the knees forward, gives you a little bit more balance. Breathe in. Breathe up. Fill up. On the exhale, we're going to come up slowly on the ball of the foot. Heels don't touch the floor. Keep coming up. All the way up. All the way up. And then reach up with the arms. Squeeze thighs together. Breathing in. Breathing out. Now squeeze. Lower belly. Lower glutes. Like we were doing in abs. Breathe in. Exhale. Lift the heels a little bit more. Reach up. Inhale. Exhale, chair, chair pose. Stand with the heels off the floor. Lean forward with your knees. Maybe bring the hands forward as well to balance onto the ball of the foot. Breathing in. Breathing out. Squeeze back together. Feel up. Empty the air out. Inhale, lift the heels a little bit more. Exhale, forward fold. Release. <laughs> Left foot spend, steps back into your uh, crescent lunge. Lower the back knee down. Good. Kind of move the hands. Inhale. Reach up with the arms. Interlace all the fingers apart from index finger. On the exhale, leaning back. Inhale. Lengthen. Reach up through the tips of the fingers. On the exhale, lean back. Breathe in. Exhale. Hands to the floor. Step back into your high plank. Maybe one legged low plank. Up dog inhale. Down dog exhale. <coughs> Left leg steps forward. Lower the back knee down. Think low with the hips. Inhale, reach up. Cutting with the hips. On the exhale, squeeze the arms into the ears and then lean back for a back bend. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step into forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to your heart. Then. Inhale, reach up. Forward fold, exhale. Right leg steps back. Lower the back knee down and sit low with the hips. Inhale, reach up with the arms, curling with the hands. On the exhale, squeeze the arms into the ears and lean back. Inhale, lengthen, telescope the wrist. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step into high plank or one legged low plank. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Right leg steps forward. Lower the back knee down. Inhale, reach up with the arms. Curling with the hands. Exhale, sink low with the hips and reach back through the chest bone. Breathe in. Exhale, hands to the floor. Forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Inhale, reach up. Forward fold, exhale. Left leg steps back. Lower the back knee down. Inhale, reach up with the arms. On the exhale, bring your Kali Mudra hands behind you. Inhale, reach up through the chest bone. On the exhale, bring the fingers as low and closer to the floor as possible. Breathe in. Exhale, sink low with the hips and scoop tailbone under. Fill up. Exhale.
exhale, hands to the floor, step back into your high plank. Low plank, engage into the core, especially after back bends. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. <coughs> Left leg steps forward, lower the back knee down. Sink really low with the hip. Inhale, reach up, lengthen the spine. On the exhale, interlace the hands behind your back, holding with the hands. Inhale, lengthen the spine again. On the exhale, leaning back, bringing the tips of the fingers to touch the floor as much as possible. Breathe in. Exhale, sink low with the hips. Fill up. Exhale, gently release. Hands to the floor, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Slight bend into the knees to protect the lower back. Exhale, hands into your heart. Inhale, reach up. Forward fold, exhale. Right leg steps back. Lower the back knee down. Inhale, reach up with the arms. Lengthen the spine. On the exhale, interlace the hands behind your back. Good. Inhale, reach up through the chest bone. Squeeze shoulder blades together. On the exhale, reaching down. Scoop tailbone under, engaging to the lower glutes. Breathing in. Breathing out. Fill up. Exhale, hands to the foot. Step back into your high plank. Low plank. Up dog. Inhale. Down dog. Exhale. Right leg steps forward, lower the back knee down. Sink low with the hips. Inhale, reach up with the arms, lengthen the spine. On the exhale, bring the hands into your heart center and keep the spine, uh, no heart center, sorry, Kali Mudra. And keep the spine long. Inhale, lengthen, lift up through the chest bone. On the exhale, squeeze shoulder blades together. And now sink low with the hips and bring your finger towards the floor. Yes. Breathing in. Breathing out. Squeeze the bones, squeeze the glutes. Fill up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step into forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to your hands. Inhale, reach up. Forward fold, exhale. Half a lift, inhale. Exhale, step forward, jump back. High plank. Low plank, up dog in the house, squeeze sides together, and down dog exhale. Right leg reaches up, inhale, exhale, bend the knees, touch the, touch the hips, squeeze the heel or the, yeah, the hip or the ankle into the glutes. Good. Bring that heel or that foot as close to your glutes as possible. Good. Press the floor away with your left hand, strong. Left leg, strong left arm. Breathing in, breathing out. Now rather than opening your right armpit towards the sides, bring your armpit square to the mat. So shoulder square to the mat. The hip opens, but the shoulder is square. Yes. Squaring the shoulders down, armpits facing the floor, the hips are open. Very good. Breathing in. Exhale, step forward, present lunge. Back heel, back knees off the floor. Inhale, reach up to the arms. On the exhale, eagle arms. Right arm goes under the left. Breathe in. Breathe out. Strong legs here, squeeze back together. Tuck tailbone under so you feel the engagement of your mula under the pelvic floor. If it's there for you to lift up the front toes, go for it. Press the floor away. Use the ball of the foot to have a strong leg. And now slowly start to lower the back knee down. Straighten the front leg. Stay with the back hip in line with the back knee. And bring your elbows towards the front big toe. Press through the ball of the foot, reach forward through the elbows towards the big toe. Front leg is as much straight as possible, back hip in line with the knee. Place the front toe, be the heel on the floor, and elbows reaching forward, yes. Slow 
slowly release the hands, bend the front knee, left hand down to the floor, inhale, reach up with your right arm, open and twist towards the right hand side. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, exhale, twist and open, squaring off the hips, reaching up through your left hand. Deep inhale, deep exhale, fill up, exhale, bring the hand down to the floor, stay with both hands inside of your right foot and just open your right leg towards the side and sit the, sink the hips forward, coming into a variation of lizard with a bind. So your right knee is open to the side, if you have the space to grab the back foot, Go for it. If it is too much, stay on this position with your knee open to the side. Reach 
Tuck, bend the knees, tuck the hips. Open the hips, squeeze the heel into the glutes. Not only you're opening the hips more, but you're engaging into the hamstring. Hamstrings that sometimes we just think about stretching, but not about strengthening. Good. Now usually we open the chest towards the side. Usually we, we look under the armpit. This time we're gonna square off the shoulders, press the left shoulder down to the floor and keep the opening in the hips. Yes, breathing in, breathing out. Fill up, empty the air, no more, no more, here, yes. Inhale. Exhale, step forward, present lunge. Back knee and back heel is off the floor. Inhale, reach up with the arms. Eagle arms, left arm under the right. Inhale. Exhale, tuck, elbow under. Very good, yes. Breathe in. Breathe out. Fill up. And now slowly with control, you're going to lower the back knee down to the floor. Gently, slowly landing on the back knee. Very good. Straighten the front leg, step with the toes stuck, the back toes stuck to give you support. Straighten the front leg, wiggle the front leg. Press through the ball of the foot. Inhale, reach forward with the elbows towards the big toe. On the exhale, folding forward, but keep reaching the elbows forward. Yes, breathing in. Breathing out. Fill up. Empty the air out. Straight front leg. Inhale. Exhale. Elbows forward. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Gently release. Right hand down to the floor. Right hand down. Inhale. Reach up with the left arm forward. Uh, bind. Open bind. On the exhale. Stay with your hips. Square to the mat. Keep the hip in line with the back knee. Back knee. No, the hip. Yeah, good. Inhale, lengthen through the right rib cage. Exhale, open and twist. Squeeze sides together. Let go of the neck. And really feel into the spine, twisting all the way from the hip to the top of your neck.
variation of uh, side plates. So your right foot points towards the right side. Your front leg goes all the way towards the back of the mat. And then your left arm reaches forward, reaching down to the floor if you have the space. If, these, if you can go deeper, then go deeper, open the chest and left arm coming to the forearm, lowering yourself closer to the floor. Very good. Breathing in. Breathing out. Fill up. Exhale, tuck down and under. Yes. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Fill up. Exhale, slowly come out of the pose. Bring your right hand down to the floor. Bring the right knee down. And then open your left leg towards the side and raise your left arm. Sorry, right leg towards the side, left arm towards the other side. Good. Opening up. Tuck tailbone under. Bring the foot forward. Bringing that ankle in line with your hip. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Fill up. And together. Inhale. On the exhale, slowly bring the leg towards the center. Now hug the knee, elbow to knee, knee to nose. Good. Press the floor away. Come into the ball, into the tips of the fingers if you need on that right hand to give you more space. Maybe a block under the hand. You choose. Again, good. Now grab the foot with your left hand. Good. Hug the foot into the chest. Inhale. Exhale, extend forward. Good. Now your right hand down is in the floor. You lift the back leg and you open into your starfish. Good. Very good. The other hand. Very good. Yes. You can stay with the back knee down on the floor as well. Deep inhale. Very good. Deep exhale. Fill up. Empty the air. Inhale. Exhale, transition into three legged dog. Fill up. Exhale, lower the leg. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. Flap the lips. Feet together, right leg reaches up. Inhale. Exhale, step forward, warrior two. Open up. Straighten the front leg. Goddess pose. Toes out, heels in, sit low with the butt. Mastrika breath. So I'm going to show you first the Vastrika breath, and then we'll do it together. Vastrika breath is deep inhale and deep exhale using the movement of the belly. Lower down into your body. 
goddess and tug tail one under. Notice the fur reaching your lower back.
Restricted breath that we were doing before, it's a really good type of breath to do at this time of the year when there is a lot of people with flus and with a little congestion. It helps remove any phlegm from the lungs, it helps to clear the breathing passages, passageways, and it also massages a lot the internal organs, giving a good massage to the internal organs, releasing anything that needs to be released. It's a firing breath. So it will build fire to digest, to improve the digestion, to improve the metabolism, but also to help us sometimes digest some emotions or some situations in life that we might feel stuck. And now slowly transition back into your down dog. Leading to the transition. Lower the leg down. And let's go to the other side. Inhale, lift up the left leg. Exhale, step forward, warrior two. Open up. Brothers toes. This time we're going to do Agni Sada breath. I'll show it well first. It's a deep inhale, full exhale out. Hold the breath, squeeze belly in, and pump the belly with the breath, holding the breath. So we're going to do it together. And we're going to do five pumps with holding the breath. And then we release. And then we do inhale, full exhale out, hold the breath.
slowly start to walk forward, walk the hands forward, transition into your mermaid on the left side. Ankle towards the pelvic floor. Or balance, place a block under your left hand, and then grab the right heel, press the heel into the glutes. And here is really, you have to be your teacher by feeling into what's going on in your body and making adjustments to either feel more in the hips or feel in the back. that every time I try to fight against half pigeon or double pigeon, some of those really big big open and poses, it would just tense up my whole body. Like the whole process much more tiring, intense. Once my body notice that I am suffering or in pain wants to protect me, so it starts to grip, it starts to retain energy. So once the body notices that we are okay and it's fine and we're breathing into it, and we're just allowing the body to simply go through a journey, then 
The journey is easy, soft, simple. the right ankle towards the hip bone or on the top of your left thigh as much as possible closer to the hip bone, the left hip bone. And then press the knee towards the front of the room and the other leg towards the foot, towards the back of the room. Slowly start to release, release of that right foot and go to the left, left onto the hip bone, and then the knee, the, the right leg goes towards the front. Now gently rolling forward, vertebra by vertebra, hug the knees into the chest, keep the knees close to your chest, toe close to the belly. It allows you to roll forward much slower with much more control. Legs straight as much as possible and slowly rolling forward. Hug the, knee, the knees into the chest, thighs into the chest. Yes, very good. Perfect. Good. Each pose. So we have two variations, three variations for fish pose. Variation one, one block between shoulder blades. Variation two, two blocks between shoulder blades. Variation three, we go deeper with one block higher. You choose. Don't be shy. Look, 
loves variety as well. And I'll take this opportunity to breathe into the chest, the physical, does wonders to our body, especially if you hunch over a computer or you drive for long periods of time, or you simply just spend quite a few hours looking at Facebook or Instagram or on your phone. It's a great place to open up into that area. And energetically, you're opening into your heart chakra, the energy channel in the heart, and you're opening into your throat chakra, Anahata and Vishuddha. Bringing more kindness, more compassion into your life, being open to love, to receive and to give love. Balancing the energies in the throat, allows you to speak your truth. Connecting both allows you to have more words that are loving and caring towards yourself and towards the other. And slowly roll over towards the right hand side, remove the block. Roll into your back again, and now for your supine twist, you have the right knee into the chest. Take it over to the left hand side. Breathe into the pectoral muscle of your right arm, of your right chest. And slowly release, transition to the other side. Transition into your Shavasana, final rest.
building and had a vineyard and the town road I had from side to side had many acres of each other.